again. Uh, hope that everything is flowing the way you want it to flow. But I always remember when I say that it's not where you think it should be. If you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be long, but this is something I gotta touch on. A uh, conversation I had uh, earlier today, and, it, and it's a, just an extension of something that I have been hammering home on a number of different levels. I've written about it from a scientific perspective and behavior and results. I've talked about it from a cultural perspective and on, in it, on its influence within our communities. I've talked about it from a gender perspective and how it impacts our relationship, uh, male, female within the black community. And I will continue to talk about it because it's of immense importance. In fact, I created a series, uh, Monday Manly Mandates, uh, to help defend black man, black masculinity and black manhood in a traditional sense and protecting the values of true authentic masculinity and this uh, gender driven assault on masculinity in general, but definitely on black masculinity, black manhood, uh, the natural uh, desire and yearning of a black man to stand strong, stand firm on his square to defend, to protect, to cover, uh, to lead, and all of these different things uh, for uh, an alternative of weakness and being moist and uh, and everything else. And so I call it the moist area. Some people call it the, the weak man area and era. And I've heard of a number of other different uh, labels and categorizations for this new generation and this new idea of manhood. There are even channels now on social media where there are men on there promoting, taking a feminine role within the relationship with women, not being providers, not being protectors, letting women take care of them. And don't get me wrong. If you're a man and, 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 and you really and truly want something that can last you want to know you have a woman that'll hold you down if stuff gets hectic meaning that if you need her to come on board and help for a minute that she's capable of doing that and that you are not going to be viewed as less than for needing her but you want to as a man be a provider you want to as a man be a covering you want to as a man uh be a leader and a guider and a teacher and a nurturer in your home you want to be the reflection of the quintessential black man when you're in your home you want that and yet there's an entire generation of these moist cats that are pushing it and what's sad and because i'm going to call everybody out on this what's sad is there's way too many women co-signing the bs and then simultaneously talking about there's no good man well you're co-signing crazy behavior you're co-signing uh behavior that is antithetical to true black progress uh this idea that you know men are out actually looking for women to take care of them and, and when I say take care of them, I don't mean in the traditional sense of what a woman naturally does. I mean, you want a woman to step out of her role, take your role, and to sit up and take care of you. Uh, that's crazy. Again, I'm not saying that it's something wrong with a man saying, man, I need somebody that's going to hold me down if stuff gets crazy. Uh, because stuff will get crazy in life. If you're with someone long enough, it gets crazy. This whole idea of perfection, nothing ever goes wrong. If something goes wrong, he's not a real man and all this stuff. All these narratives I've been touching on and I will continue to touch on uh, as it pertains to masculinity and, 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 and manhood within the black community. Uh, my thing is we need more men coming along and being the example of what manhood is so that we have something to lay in juxtaposition to this new ideology of softness, the soft man era, the moist man era, the era where you can hardly distinguish behaviors, attributes, and value systems between men and women because men are abdicating their role as heads, as leaders, as providers, as protectors for the sake of cruising through 
and winning. Nobody is trying to build anymore. And don't get me wrong, this isn't just a black man thing. I see it with my sister too. Everybody trying to score the bag. Nobody's trying to build anything. Everybody's trying to score the bag. Everybody's trying to get something that they had nothing to do with and thinking that that's the win. And nobody is thinking about building. When you build something, you have ownership in it. You have an investment in it. You have a right to it. And, 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 and you have the uh, right to sit up and demand certain things from it. But when you walk up and you think you're scoring it, you're scoring something somebody else built, whether he built it as a single person, whether he built it with someone else and they broke up, whether he built it off of the back uh, or, 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 or the foundation of his parents, which means that the woman that actually invested in him was his mom. You weren't the woman that invested in him. And so that's a problem as well. But men trying to live off of women where your aim is to be taken care of we've got a long way to go and i'm just totally flabbergasted that this is where we're at and then everybody and the thing is people will get mad at me i'll literally be called a simp because i call men to be men that's where we're at now if if you're not up promoting getting over on a woman manhandling a woman building up your body count Bed and women and moving on, then you're a simp. If you're talking about loving a woman, wifing a woman, covering a woman, protecting a woman, being the head and, 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 and leader in a way that she feels safe and she knows you're taking her somewhere better than the place she's leaving, that's now considered simp and trick behavior. That's not the original definition of the word. That's not even on a cultural level, on a uh, slang level on a street vernacular level that wasn't the original meaning of it being a man in the 70s was being a man it's it, uh, show up handle your business tricks and simpletons weren't the ones that were handling their business they were the ones that were getting played so the simp was the one that was so simple minded that a woman can walk, walk up and plan for his dope, plan for his space, to walk away with his stuff, and he not have a clue. He was the simp. He was being played. A man that's sitting up loving a woman that's respecting him, a man that's sitting up loving a woman that's holding him down, a man that's sitting up loving a woman that's keeping his kids safe and nurturing his kids and taking care of the home that he's provided is not a simp. He is doing what he is supposed to do. This is absolutely crazy that we view true manhood as being simps and squares and I'm, I'm just totally dumbfounded uh, that this is where we're at and like I said you know I'm going to keep fighting I'm going to keep pushing I'm going to keep speaking on what we should be where we should be and how we should be and if you, it, whether we get it or not I'm going to do my part Again, I'm going to get off of here. I just had to say what I had to say. So that's that. Look, you know the routine. If you like what you hear, click the like button, click the share button, subscribe. If you believe in the work that we've done for over 30 years, look in it, go to the site, see the work, man. We've got Black Man Lead Rite of Passage. We've got a research center, a program development center, program implementation advocacy for children in schools, advocacy for uh, men who are and women who are incarcerated, advocacy for domestic violence and mental health, uh, and so much more. We have been on the battlefield for, again, over 30 years. I've got over 80,000 hours of research over 35 years. Uh, I've disseminated it in 28 books now, uh, thousands of scholarly articles, oh, tens of thousands of prose articles, uh, lectures, and so much more. And I will continue to give my all to the community. I will continue to be an asset to my community until I take my last breath. But we do need support. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody who does uh, tune in, share, whatever you do. I want to thank you. If you follow me for years, I want to thank you. Uh, and any encouraging words, I want to thank you. Uh, but we need to elevate. We need to get to a point to where we are supporting the people who are trying to hold up our communities. And we are doing a very poor job of that as of now. And we have been for as far back as I can look and, and observe. And that cannot be 
the narrative if we're ever going to truly achieve what we say we want and that's true autonomy that's true power that's true liberation true freedom um that comes with investment that comes with putting skin in the game that comes with being committed and that's something that we really truly are lacking right now to be honest uh, but I'm going to keep pressing and I'm going to keep doing and I'm hoping that in time you guys will come on board on that note look I'm going to get ready to get out of here uh, you guys have a great day